guys, it's Dragon Strong Bean TV, even on a strong and another bean. So today guys, I'm here with like a little information video for you guys. This is breaking news coming straight from Konami. And Konami is the one who does past Pro Evolution Soccer. And yesterday they announced they have a partnership with uh, Juventus FC. And this is huge because this is an exclusive partnership. So, we're here on the side of Juventus FC. And here it says the partnership will make eFootball Pass. Yeah, that's a new name of Pass. Uh, eFootball Pass 2020. The partnership will make eFootball Pass 2020 the only football console game to include the Italian champions. The only. So Juventus alongside Konami Digital Entertainment has announced today a long-term and exclusive partnership. The new and exciting partnership with Konami will see the eFootball Pass series have exclusive use of Juventus intellectual property within console football video games, including team name, crest and official kits. In addition, the development team has been granted in-depth access to the players themselves via full body 3D scan in order to recreate their iconos the game as accurately as possible so guys it is an exclusive deal so what does that mean for FIFA yes Juventus will kind of not be in FIFA kind of will the team will be there but will it will not be named Juventus it will be named Piemont Calcio, and that's the new name for Juventus in FIFA they no longer can use Juventus, they no longer can use the, um, the name, the kit, the crest, and the stadium. So, but here on the official EA, EA um, website, they release all the information to answer people's questions. So we got here, the end of the partnership between EA Sports and Juventus Football Club will have the following effects in FIFA 20 and future FIFA Mobile seasons. Piemonte Cauts will be a new playable team in FIFA 20 with a custom badge and kit throughout kickoff, career mode and EA Sports Volta Football. Piemonte Cauts will use <laughs> real world authentic players in um, FIFA 20 and FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. So what they want to say with that, they, the players are still there, like Cristiano Ronaldo, Alexandro, and just Milan Pjanic, they are there, they have their faces and their names and all, it's just the name of the, it's just the club that changes. The amount of culture players chemistry within FIFA 20 Ultimate Team is unaffected by these changes, sorry that was my phone. Uh, FIFA 20 will feature an extensive collection of clubs and leagues representative, representative of the world's game when it launches this September. And yesterday they announced they have now a partnership with Liverpool FC. So kind of a trade because Liverpool was last year I think with Konami. Now this uh, year back with uh, FIFA. So here's a little Q&A. Will Piemonte Council players have generic names and generic faces? No. Real world players including authentic names and faces will be used in the Piemonte Calcio squad throughout FIFA 20. So that's what I said. They will have their face the players will have their faces, their names, everything. It's just a club with the crest and the um, kits that changes. How will this affect my squad in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team? Uh, Piemonte Calcio players will share chemistry links with players with from the same nation league and club, so that changed nothing. Will Piemonte Cups players be eligible for special items like Team of the Week, Team of the Year, stuff like that? Yes, simple. Will Piemonte Cups live player ratings in kickoff reflect their real world performances? Yes. How will this impact career mode in FIFA 20? Piemonte Cups will be a playable team within career mode in FIFA 20, featuring authentic players and up to date player ratings. And will Piemonte Calcio be a playable team in FIFA 19? Previous eSports FIFA titles are unaffected by these changes. So yeah guys, here is here you have all the information about 
this thing going on with Konami and uh, they like acquiring the exclusive rights to Juventus which in my, my opinion is complete bullshit this is just Konami trying to get people away from FIFA just starting another war like I even I think I tweeted even out that like you have Microsoft and Sony and Sony by trying to end the console war with the cross cross platform play and but now you have the games have still have that war to, to have the, the exclusive rights and that's something that shouldn't be there. Like even the um, I put picture here the uh, Eredivisie the, um, it's the Dutch Football League they tweeted out on on Twitter obviously that's um, what they say that either way the, f the fans can play w with the Dutch League in PES and in FIFA so shots I kind of shots fired there but yeah this is another try by Konami to um, to combat FIFA but it won't help them their sales will still be shit so yeah but yeah let's uh, start hating uh, no let's, not, let's stop hating and yeah guys that's all for this video now here I have all the informations I put a link to this in the description so you can check it out for yourself thanks for watching like always like subscribe all the good stuff and see you next time bye